Hello everyone, I'm Zibay Chen. I am a faculty at the University of Southern Mississippi School of Social Work. I'm very happy to be here as the AFCAP fifth convening and I hope to see some of the old faces and looking forward to meeting new people. So this poster uh, here is about the study I did in the past year, looking at the impact of using petty loans on household current and future financial well-being. So as many of you all already know that petty loan is one of the widely used financial alternative financial services in the United States. There are a few studies uh, showed that use of petty loan is associated with increased debt, decreased home ownership, and increased bankruptcy rates. However, uh, the implications of using petty loan have been examined with only a very handful of financial well-being measures. So I am doing this study uh, using a comprehensive framework of financial well-being to look at the impact of using petty loan on household current and future financial well-being. So as you can see in these slides, I have a research question asking the effect of using petty loan on household financial well-being and I have two hypotheses. Uh, I'm using the data from the 2015 Nas National Financial Capability Study, which has about over uh, 27,000 American participants uh, in this study. And the independent variable here is petty loan use. And the dependent variable here uh, is measuring financial well-being within two dimensions. So first, I look at the present security, uh, which assess uh, people's ability to pay credit card bill in full, and also assess people's ability to uh, make ends meet. And for future security, I'm looking at um, the, whether people have set aside a rainy day fund that would cover expenses for three months, and also emergency fund that will cope, uh, allows them to cope with emergency that costs around $400. So analysis, um, I've used propensity score matching uh, to put it simply, this is a, a methodology that will match people who have used petty loans and who haven't used petty loans but have a similar propensity of using petty loans. And, and matching those two group of people and looking at their financial well-being measures, see if there's a difference. So in this slide, I have a descriptive table that telling you that uh, only 4% of the people are unbanked. However, uh, all, about 20% of the population are underbanked, meaning that they have a bank account, but also use at least one type of alternative financial services. And among the four alternative financial services, uh, pawn shop are the highest uh, uh, has the highest rate of um, usage, and, and next is petty loan use. And the table three and four just give you an example of the results that I'm using propensity score matching um, to estimate the impact of uh, using petty loans and paying bills on time, as well as the, uh, having a rainy day fund. So, in a nutshell, the findings uh, tells me a very complex relationship between use of petty loan and the financial security. Uh, first, we see a negative association between uh, use of petty loans and people's ability to make ends meet and to pay bills on time. This tells me that petty loan can be very harmful to household financial stability and is likely to increase financial stress. And at the same time, we see a positive um, effect of using petty loans on future financial security. This tells me that people who are using petty loans, petty loans sometimes just use them uh, as a cash flow alternative, and they know where to get this cash when they need it uh, for emergency. And for those people that petty loans served as a cash flow alternative much needed 
uh, for this group of people who may not have other options. So this is a uh, study that um, invested the links between payday loan use to important financial well-being indicators. If you need more information, here's my contact uh, email at the bottom, and I hope to see you at this convening. <laughs>